The Sony HVR V1U was released on the market in the fall of 2006 and is touted as one of the first sub $5,000 HDV cameras to offer a true 24 frame progressive mode. This camera is indeed capable of some very good, almost stunning images given full daylight conditions. It falls short in medium to subdued lighting, however. The focus of this documentary is on another aspect of this video camera, which is often painfully overlooked, as if it did not exist. Sound quality. More specifically, the audio characteristic known as frequency response. Since not everyone records exclusively female speakers, bird calls, or cricket sounds, there is a need for audio response below 1200 Hz. But don't tell Sony that. They designed the HVR V1U's audio circuits to begin to roll off the sensitivity below 1222 Hz. This graph clearly illustrates the problem. When you compare it to a normal portable digital recorder, the problem really comes into focus. And when we compare the HVR V1U audio to an inexpensive consumer HDV camera, the Canon HV20, owners of the V1U start to feel cheated and ask the question, why? Why cripple the audio on an otherwise decent video camera? Misinformed so-called video professionals blame the lack of bass response of the V1U on the MPEG compression scheme, but this is totally false. MPEG compression is a lossy format, but the loss is at the higher frequencies. It doesn't take many bits to encode a slow change in voltage, such as that produced by a bass note, bass drum, or thunder. It takes many orders of magnitude more bits to reconstruct a cymbal crash or the sibilance of human speech. MP3 music files, the kind widely traded on the internet, are stuffed full of deep bass sounds. And, though they are at one-third the data rate of the audio compression used in the HVR V1U, they sound much better because they offer a flat response from 5 Hz to 16,000 Hz. To illustrate this point, here is full spectrum white noise. Here it is again after MPEG compression. Note the drop above 16 kHz. Here are the two response curves superimposed. Do you see any loss in the bass region? If an MP3 file has a flat bass response, then why not the HVR V1U? This is an actual response measurement from the V1U. That answer seems to lie within two possible areas. Either the audio input circuitry of the camera is deficient, out of very bad engineering practice, or Sony has built in an intentional filter, perhaps implemented in DSP programming, to alter the camera's audio on purpose. Apparently a number of people are publicly discussing a problem with lack of audio gain with this camera. And they are correct because in the applications being discussed, recording of human speech, and music in wedding ceremonies, the dominant RMS power of these sounds falls below the roll-off point on the V1U. The result is that the camera will appear to have somewhat low sensitivity, even with relatively high output mics like the Shure KSM32. One thing is for certain, the HVR V1U fails to faithfully record the sounds you put into the camera's input jacks, and fails to a greater degree than any other camera on the market. Sony owners have every right to be angry about this kind of deficiency in a camera that is sold under Sony's broadcast division and not their consumer division. Consider a camera that has balanced XLR audio inputs, individual gain controls, individual AGC per channel, individual attenuators, individual wind noise filters, and individual noise reduction, all switchable per channel. One would logically expect that the quality of the audio system on this camera would be head and shoulders above the consumer and prosumer cameras. In this age of digital audio, it is common for digital recording devices to be flat from DC to one half the sampling frequency. Deviation across the spectrum for even the cheapest computer sound card is plus or minus 0.5 decibels. Quality digital recording gear tightens that to a plus or minus 0.05 decibels. Since the V1U is also a digital audio recorder, the same rules of electronics and physics apply. There is no technical reason that could explain this unexpected roll-off of the low frequency response on the V1U. In fact, 
the V1U has lost 32.7 decibels of gain by the time frequencies get down to 20 Hz. So if the response is this bad, why does Sony list the frequency response as 20 to 20,000 Hz in their specifications for the audio? Even under the most liberal tolerances, it would be virtually impossible to qualify this camera as having a response from 20 to 20,000 Hz. When a product manufacturer makes a claim about objectively measurable parameters of their product, and the product does not even come arguably close to meeting those parameters in the real world, this could be considered false representation or false advertising. The claims of frequency response are wholly inaccurate and mislead the purchaser into believing that this camera will record acceptable audio. Nothing could be further from the truth. And that's why we've made this video as a call to action among Sony owners who have gotten much less than they bargained for in this otherwise fine camera. We recommend that you call Sony Corporation and express your dissatisfaction if this audio problem has affected you. Calling your vendor is also recommended, but ultimately, in order to effect a recall on this camera, it will take many owners speaking up and making their voices heard by Sony Corporation. Together, all of us can make a difference by making Sony aware that they need to correct this serious flaw in the HVR V1U. In an otherwise excellent camera, this is one very disappointing shortcoming, which many buyers may be completely unaware of.